This is the solution to written homework 34. <clears throat> it says find and classify all stationary points. So the first order of business is to find the stationary points. So the first partials are what? So 0 and then minus 6x squared. Uh, plus 6y squared. The y partial is negative 12 y cubed minus 0 plus 12 xy. Okay, so then what we want is we want to solve both of these <coughs> both of these equal to each other are equal to zero at the same time. So we want to solve negative six x squared plus six y squared is equal to zero and negative 12y cubed plus 12xy is equal to 0. <clears throat> so <clears throat> the first one for the first equation so let's just use some color Using the first equation, <coughs> negative 6x squared plus 6y squared is 0. So dividing by negative 6, or dividing by, yeah, dividing by negative 6 will give x squared minus y squared is 0 and then factoring this we have x minus y multiplied by x plus y is 0 so either x is equal to y or x is negative y okay so now the solutions break into two branches so this will I'll call this branch 1 and this one branch two. <clears throat> so in the case of branch one, we can plug that information into the first into the second equation that's currently unused. So we'll take <clears throat> negative 12 y cubed plus 12 uh, xy equal to 0 and then plug in uh, x is equal to y so I'll change all of the x's to, to y's now So negative 12 y cubed plus 12 y squared is 0. And then I'll factor out <coughs> factor out negative 12 y squared to get uh, y minus 1. And so the solutions to this are y is 0 or y is 1. And so in that case, <clears throat> that means that we find two critical points. We find for this 
corresponding to y is 0, it must be that x is 0, because x is equal to y. And corresponding to y is 1, it must be x is 1. So in that case, we have two critical points, 0, 0, and 1, 1. So I'll circle these. <coughs> There's a critical point. There's a critical point. A stationary point. <coughs> so there's no more stationary points from branch 1. So now let's use branch 2. So for branch 2, that's that is to say x is negative y. <coughs> I'll plug that in. To the second equation. <clears throat> so negative 12 uh, y cubed plus 12 xy is equal to 0. And I'll replace all of the uh, x's with negative y's. So that would be negative 12 y cubed and then minus 12y squared is 0. And factor out negative 12y squared to get y plus 1 is 0. So then y is 0 or y is negative 1. And then corresponding to this, since x is negative y, x must be 0 and x corresponding to this one x must be 1. So then the critical points we found are 0, 0, and 1, negative 1. <coughs> so circling these. So it seems like we found four stationary points, but in fact this one we found twice. So there's just three different stationary points. 0, 0, 1, 1, and 1, negative 1. So we found the stationary points, now let's classify them. To classify them we'll use the second partials. So the second partials. <coughs> so the xx partial is the x partial of this. So that would be negative 12x. The uh, xy partial so the y partial of the x partial is 12y the yx partial that is to say the x partial of the y partial is 12y, so that's good, because we found that the two mixed partials are the same. And then the yy partial is negative uh, 36y squared. <clears throat> so, now we can classify each one, so classify. We'll classify 0, 0. So the classifier is, so we'll do the xx partial at 0. Well, that's 0. Multiplied by the yy partial at 0, that also is 0. I said 36, but then wrote 32. So that should be 36. <clears throat> so 0 for xx, 0 for yy, and then minus um, <clears throat> plug in 0 for this. <clears throat> so that would be minus 0 squared. And so that is equal to 0. And so the conclusion about 
uh, 0, 0 is that we can make no conclusion. So no conclusion. So now let's classify um, how about 1, 1. So the the xx partial at 1, 1 is negative 12. The yy partial at 1, 1 is negative 36. And then minus the xy partial at 1, 1 is 12. So then squared. So this number, since the negatives cancel each other and since 36 is bigger than 12 this num this number this product must be bigger than this one and that means that this is positive so that tells us <coughs> uh, that 1 1 is going to be a maximum or a minimum but we don't as yet know what case it will be so let's check one of the unmixed partials so how about xx at 1, 1. So xx at 1, 1 is negative 12, which is negative. So d being positive tells us the concavity is consistent, and this unmixed second partial being negative means that it's always negative. So the conclusion here uh, is that therefore 1, 1 is a local max. stationary point which has downward concavity in all directions. And finally, <clears throat> to classify uh, the point 1, negative 1, <clears throat> to classify the point 1, negative 1, D so the xx partial uh, is negative 12. The yy partial at y is negative 1 is negative 36. And then minus the xy partial would be negative 12 squared. Again, this is positive. So that means the concavity is consistent. <coughs> And then the xx partial <coughs> evaluated at 1, negative 1 is negative 12, which is negative. And therefore, like the point 1, 1, the conclusion is that 1, negative 1 is a local max. And that's the solution to the exercise.